Hi there, Trevor Duncan with Cell Seattle and CellSeattle.com. We are buyers of used cell phones and we have several recycling programs as well. Today we're going to be talking about how to master reset a Motorola Droid model A855. Might also be known as the original Verizon Droid. Uh, this one slides open, has a full keyboard, touch screen, great phone. I still take in quite a few of these and sell them as well. Um, and just a little background, the reason you would want to do a master reset would be to remove any previous user data or to clear the phone out before you get ready to donate it or sell it or retire it. So let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and tap the bottom of the screen to access our full menu. Then you're going to slide down and choose where it says settings. And that takes us to a list of options. You're going to scroll down and choose privacy. On the privacy page it says here factory data reset at the bottom. You want to tap that. Now this does give us a warning and reminds us this could remove all information from your Google account, system data, SD card, so you'll want to make sure that you've gone through, backed up all your emails, your contact list, uh, any photos or text messages you want to hang on to, save those to the memory card and then you can remove it. And once we've done those steps and we're ready, you're going to touch reset phone. And again, this is our final prompt reminding us all our data will be deleted, but we know that, so we want to proceed. Let's press erase everything. The phone is now going to start powering off, which is normal. That is part of the master reset procedure. And that does take one to two moments. So while that's thinking, let's go ahead and talk about what my company does. Basically, in the world, there are about 500 million unused cell phones. People have upgraded, their phone is broken, they've tossed it in a drawer somewhere thinking that they'll get to it later, and usually what happens is it does land wind up in a landfill and cell phones have lots of chemicals in them that are harmful to the environment such as lead, mercury, arsenic, the kinds of things we don't want to find in our drinking water. So my company provides you the ability to mail in any unused phones, the ones that can be reused, we do match those up with new users, otherwise phones that are broken beyond repair get recycled. They can they get broken down and we can reclaim the gold, silver, and other components of the phone to make new products. So we strongly encourage that. And now we're back at the Motorola screen. So we're one step away from being reset. Here it says Droid. Then we've got the Droid emblem. And when it comes back up, we'll be at the Android Start screen. There will be a few prompts we need to follow to get started as a new user. Uh, you do need to have a Google account to use a Droid. If you don't have one, you can set up a new one during the activation process. And I do want to show you what it looks like after the reset, and then there's one more little tip I wanted to give you. So hopefully if you just surfing the web and you stumbled across us here on YouTube or found our website, um, you know, even if you live outside of Seattle, we encourage you to use our service. And here we are, we would touch the droid to begin. And we have the option to activate. We're going to skip that. And believe it or not, bear with me. Just follow the prompts here. Okay, back at this screen, what a lot of people don't know was without activating the phone, we can still get into it to get to any preloaded apps, as well as use the phone to connect to a Wi-Fi to surf the web. And in order to do that, we're going to touch the screen in all four corners, starting in the upper left, you're going to touch, then to the right, bottom right, bottom left. And then the phone goes past the Android into the main menus where you can now get into your apps. So, once again, this has been the Master Reset Procedures using the touchscreen menus on a Motorola Droid A855. We hope you found this video helpful, and we hope to see you again soon.